Right-wing candidate Nicolas Sarkozy wins the French election. The FEMA response to the tornado in Kansas deemed a success by White House Press Secretary Tony Snow. And the Philippines are experiencing a violent roundup to their May 14th midterm elections. I'm Yasmin Vesugian, and this is the Gallup World Poll. Right-wing candidate Nicolas Sarkozy was elected the new president of France in last Sunday's election. Sarkozy beat out socialist opponent Ségolène Royal. He will take office May 16th. Among his many promises of reform, President-elect Sarkozy has pledged to lead the charge in creating more jobs in France. France's current unemployment rate is 8.3%. In an Ipsos Dell exit poll, it was reported that 46% of blue-collar workers who traditionally lean left voted for right-winger Sarkozy. Gallup reported that in 2006, only 24% of the French were satisfied with efforts to increase the number and quality of jobs in their country. In addition to addressing unemployment, Sarkozy has said that he will institute tax cuts, oppose Turkish EU membership, and increase taxes on polluters. Part of that's what I'm telling you about my gut feeling. I think we're doing pretty good and getting our people. Last Friday, a devastating tornado leveled Greensburg, Kansas, leaving many displaced. The town's mayor, Lonnie McCollum, was quoted by CNN as saying that he personally witnessed FEMA's rapid response. But Governor Kathleen Sebelius had this to say about FEMA's response. When the troops get deployed, the equipment goes with them. So here in Kansas, about 50% of our trucks are gone. We need trucks. We are missing Humvees. We're missing all kinds of equipment that could help us respond to this kind of emergency. In April 2007, Gallup asked Americans, do you think the federal government in Washington is ready to deal with a natural disaster? Just 31% of Americans said yes. 66% said no. White House spokesman Tony Snow has said the administration is doing whatever it can, that the federal response to the disaster in Kansas should be considered a success story. The Philippines' midterm congressional and local elections will be held May 14th. Partisan rivalry, violence, and accusations of corruption and election tampering have plagued Philippine election history. During the 2004 presidential election, over 150 election-related deaths were reported. With just a few days left till this year's election, nearly 100 people have been reported dead, including political candidates. This may be a result of Filipinos' distrust of their electoral process. Gallup reported that only 27% of respondents have confidence in the honesty and integrity of their elections. And according to an April social weather station survey of registered Filipino voters, 69% expect vote buying to happen, and over half expect cheating in the vote counting. In the May 14th election, voters will elect 12 senators, the entire 230-seat House of Representatives, and thousands of local officials, from town councils to mayors and provincial governors. I'm Yasmin Vesugian, and join us again to hear more voices from around the world.